गुड न्यूज टुडे नई उम्मीद जगाने वाला हिंदी न्यूज चैनल This is the big story of the day. Battle for Panjshir is in final stages in Afghanistan. Taliban has claimed that they have taken complete control of the Panjshir, the last area in Afghanistan that was being held by the resistance forces. Now the claim of the Taliban is that they have completely conquered the Panjshir that came under the control now of the Islamic State of Afghanistan. On your screen now. Take a look at these visuals. This is of the Taliban fighters taking control of the governor house in Panjshir Valley. They have hoisted the flag at the governor's office making a claim thereby of the victory. But the resistance forces commander Amrullah Saleh's aide told India today calling this claim of the Taliban as false. He has said that the resistance forces are up on the mountains, they are defending themselves. Earlier the resistance forces called for a ceasefire but the Taliban rejected their offer. Meanwhile in some tragic news that has come in Fahim Dashti journalist and resistance forces spokesperson has been killed in clashes with the Taliban. Nephew of Ahmed Masood General Abul Udud Zare was also killed along with Saleh Mohammad chief commander of the resistance force. But sources have said that leaders of the resistance forces Ahmed Masood is in Tajikistan for the past 3 days. Amrullah Saleh is still in the valley in an undisclosed location and is safe. Just minute before Taliban's claim of the Panjshir victory, Turkey's TRT channel spoke to Ahmed Masood's spokesperson. He says the fight continues and the movement is an advantage. Listen in to this conversation. So there's a conversation that we are just going to play for you in a short while. Remember, for now there are different, very vari- uh, various uh, versions that are emerging. It is not easy to have information coming out of the Panjshir Valley, where we are being told internet has been cut off, and even there have been food supplies that have been cut off by the Taliban fighters. So for now, the information that has only come in that is that Fahim Dashti has been killed along with the general of the resistance forces. Let's get in a perspective from the ground as well. I'm joined by a defence editor from Delhi, Abhishek Bhalla, but I'm also joined by an Afghan Afghan journalist, Hikmatullah Emazadi, and I want to go first across to you, Hikmatullah. What are you picking up from the Panjshir Valley? Because Taliban is claiming there's a complete control. Is that correct, or are the resistance forces still giving a tough fight for as long as they possibly can? Yeah, thank you. According to the uh, Taliban, that they claim that or take over all Afghanistan, including Panjshir, this morning, and they claim that we took, take, uh, we took over the Panjshir as well. So other sides resistance lies, you know, reject this claim that we have, we have holding off some key points in the mountain, and still the fighting is continue. Right, so there are key points that are still held by the resistance forces, and uh, that question again, I ask you, Abhishek Bhalla. The question will, will be like you mentioned, for how long? But do tell us about the location, uh, if possible. Why is it so difficult uh, for even the Taliban fighters to take control while they easily did it for the rest of the Afghanistan? Well, Pooja, uh, the geographical location of Panjshir and the lay of the land is such uh, the terrain is such uh, it's close to tajikistan it's an a, it's a land that is uh, uh, you know dominated by tajiks and uh, that is one of the reasons uh, why uh, the taliban has been kept out of it uh, but you know the situation uh, this time around has been a little different uh, remember the taliban uh, easily uh, was able to get the better of 3 lakh plus uh, forces uh, of the afghan security uh, forces and uh, you know it was a matter of when will they take over uh, panchir it wasn't as if they don't have the capability uh, because you know they had been fighting uh, the, the the us forces they had been fighting the afghan forces and really uh, you know it's still not known uh, what was the kind of firepower the resistance forces had uh, there had been a lot of negotiations a lot of back channel talks and uh, really the taliban was uh, hoping but they'll be able to take over panchir uh, without much of fighting it seems that hasn't happened 
uh, it's a story of claims and counter claims even now you know there has been an official denial uh, from the resistance forces that uh, taliban is yet to take over the entire territory but it's very clear that there has been some sort of a jolt to the uh, uh, to the resistance forces because there have been some casualties uh, it remains to be seen you know for how long uh, this is going to continue whether there'll be a pitched battle uh, or whether whether the taliban will be able to take over uh, panchir without much of a resistance stay on also to hikmatullah just stay on with us because for our viewers to understand it is important who precisely are the key personalities and how are they holding up what do we know for now from panjshir's last standing fighters in terms of specifically the ones who are well known now remember amrullah saleh the caretaker president former vice president of afghanistan as well is in the panjshir valley that's what he has maintained we also know about ahmed masood one of those most significant leaders of the masood family he has been in tajikistan for the last 3 days zabiullah mujahid who is one of the most uh, visible faces of taliban in terms of its spokesperson taliban is claiming control they maintain that they have got the panjshir valley but many in panjshir which is there in the northern area of afghanistan one of the most uh, geographical strategic locations was the last free citadel is trying to hold fort as much as possible so this is what we know so far which is credible information that has come in as well now remember while these uh, versions are emerging pakistan's role in helping taliban and that against the resistance forces has been exposed amrullah saleh's close aide has told india today that pakistan air force choppers are helping taliban terrorists in their fight to win the panjshir valley earlier afghanistan's uh, samangan province member of parliament also made a similar claim saying pakistan air force bombed the panjshir he said pakistan air force used the drones to strike the valley remember pakistan has now also reopened its airfield near afghanistan and that has raised eyebrows pakistan has meanwhile activated the shamsi air base in balochistan near the afghan border sources are telling india today a significant amount of air activity has been witnessed in the region which is aimed at providing tactical support to taliban but this is not just theory not just rhetoric pakistan's intelligence agencies isi chief is in kabul in afghanistan for holding talks as we are being told by the taliban he has met the chief of uh, hizbullah islami party hikmatyar discussing the current situation in the country isi chief faiz ahmed went to kabul on the invitation of the taliban the first high ranking foreign official to visit kabul following taliban's takeover i want to go back to hikmatullah amazadi and also abhishek bhala hikmatullah first to you of course uh, all this could not really have been possible so easily just by the taliban so the issue of pakistan support has also been questioned been discussed what are you picking up from the ground yeah i received some reports uh, from the different sources uh, the claim that uh, some drones in helicopters bomb the punchers and the fighters of resistance but other side the uh, delegation uh, spokesman of qatar for the taliban they he rejected that we didn't use it all right so of course there are different variations coming in specifically with regard to uh, the drone attacks that have taken place in the punchit that has raised eyebrows and abhishek let's not forget why would the intelligence agency chief of pakistan of isi suddenly lands up in kabul official version is we are discussing trade but since when has an isi chief started to discuss trade with an with a country that is facing a humanitarian crisis do you think that's why eyebrows are being raised over this issue well pooja the presence of uh, lieutenant general hammi the uh, faz hammi the uh, the isi chief in kabul is a clear indicator how uh, pakistan and more importantly pakistan uh, military is meddling in affairs uh, in uh, afghanistan especially after the occupation of the entire country by taliban uh, what uh, we have heard is that you know uh, he was there as part of discussions on the government formation so very clear that they are uh, participating in uh, the political affairs uh, in afghanistan as of now and uh, there were reports that there was a lot of bickering in fighting within taliban for some of the key posts 
and that's why uh, the ISI chief was there to ensure that the process is smooth because, you know, it's very clear now that Pakistan has a lot of stake in whatever is going to happen yes. in Afghanistan from here onwards. And that's the reason why they want to maintain their stronghold and not just uh, Pakistan's, uh, uh, you know, government, but most importantly, it's the Pakistan's military that wants to keep a stronghold in whatever happens in Afghanistan. I request both our reporters to please stay on. One telling us exactly what's happening on the ground and how difficult it is to even get information while Abhishek Bhalla telling us about the strategic issues of that. Why is this developing story in Afghanistan so important, especially for the Indian subcontinent? That is because there is repercussions even for India to take. The growing alliance between Pakistan, Taliban, China has become a cause of concern. Taliban, remember, is hopeful that they will receive funds from Beijing to revive the sinking economy in Afghanistan. Taliban's closeness with Pakistan is worrisome because Pakistan leaders have already claimed that the terror group will help them even disrupt peace if required in the Kashmir Valley here in India. Here's more now what you must know about the international ramifications of that specifically effect in India. A growing nexus, a budding threat for India and a trillion dollar game. After taking over Afghanistan, Taliban is hoping to rely on China's aid to re-establish its sinking economy, curb the widespread hunger and deal with the devastating drought. Taliban called China its most important partner and is looking forward to rebuilding the war-torn nation while Beijing looks to exploit its trillion dollar mineral treasure. It's a win-win situation for both China and the Taliban. In return of funds, Beijing will get a major push for its One Belt, One Road initiative, an extremely controversial infrastructure project that seeks to link China with Africa and Europe through Afghanistan and Pakistan and old ally of the door. While China provides funds, Pakistan provides logistic support to Taliban fighters. The bond between Pakistan and Taliban is getting stronger, a big cause of concern for India. Pakistan's ISI chief, Faiz Hamid, arrived in Kabul on Saturday on the invitation of Taliban council with a high-level delegation. The growing closeness is worrisome, as Pakistan leaders have already claimed that Taliban will help them disrupt peace in Kashmir. But India has made it clear that any sort of threat will be dealt with firmly. So as far as Afghanistan is concerned, we will make sure that any activity which is likely to flow out of Afghanistan and then find its way into India will be dealt with in the manner in which we are dealing with terrorism in our country. But the sinister coalition between Pakistan, Taliban and China has led to rising security concerns in South Asia. Bureau Report, India Today. Now, till now, it was expected that the Taliban will announce a government formation in Afghanistan, but that has been delayed. Local media reports say that the Taliban affiliates have confirmed that there is a disagreement between the Haqqani group, the Haqqani network, and the Taliban Islamic Emirate over the division of power. India Today TV learns that the Haqqanis have demanded all crucial ministries, that is, home, interior, the Defence Ministry of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. But the sources are saying that Supreme Leader Hibatullah Khundzada has not accepted those demands. I'm speaking to India today, Muhammadi Yusuf Saha, who's the spokesperson of the former Afghan President Hamid Karzai, has said negotiations are going on with the Taliban for an inclusive government, adding that the rights of Afghans will be respected in the new government. Meanwhile, President of Iran, Ibrahim Raisi, has said that Tehran will only support a democratic elected government, hinting it may not accept a Taliban-led Afghan government. So listen in now to the conversation that uh, India Today's Gaurav Savant had with Taliban spokesperson Suhail Shaheen on a rift with the Haqqanis. Listen in. Suhail Shaheen, you want to know that the government was made of the Taliban. 
ये तालिबान की सरकार का ऐलान होना था शुक्रवार को फ्राइडे को अभी तक नहीं हो पाया है कब बनेगी सरकार हमने मुशावरत की जरूरत थी क्या हम मुशावरत करें आपस में भी और दूसरे अफगान पुलिस स्टेशन से भी इसलिए जरूरत की टाइम थी लेकिन वो मुशावरत मुकम्मल हो चुकी है इनशाला जल्दी नए हुकूमत ऐलान हो जाएगा आप मशावरत कर रहे हैं क्या जो कंधारी तालिबान है और जो हकानी नेटवर्क है सिराजुद्दीन हकानी और मुल्ला अब्दुल गनी बरदर क्या दोनों में बहुत ज्यादा डिफरेंसेस हैं लड़ाई हो रही है आपस में नहीं नहीं कोई डिफरेंस नहीं है कोई लड़ाई नहीं है हमारे एक आइडियोलॉजी है एक पॉलिसी है ऐसा कुछ नहीं है लेकिन जो वो रिपोर्ट्स है ऐसे आपकी तरफ से या दूसरी तरफ से वो तो बीस साल से ऐसे पोलिटिकली मोटिवेटेड रिपोर्ट कर रही है लेकिन वो हकत को रिफ्लेक्ट नहीं करते लेकिन जो तालिबान के हेड है मुल्ला अखुन ज्यादा हैबतुल्ला अखुन ज्यादा वो क्या अभी भी कंधार में है वो किसी से मिले हुए हैं किसी के सामने अभी तक नहीं आए ऐसा क्यों बिल्कुल आ जाएगा बिल्कुल आ जाएगा उधर मिले हुए हैं वो उन्होंने लीडरशिप काउंसिल के जलसे को उसको भी उन्होंने लीड किया मुशावरत में मौजूद है और डिसीजन मेकिंग में मौजूद है और इन ऐलान के बाद वो बिल्कुल नेशन के सामने भी आ जाएगा